Hey guys, Goatin here back with another video on the A channel. Today I'm going to be giving you 5 tips for small YouTubers. Now I did a 5 tips for streamers video which I'll link on the end screen and in the description. Um, not too long ago, so this is my 5 tips for YouTubers. They're slightly different, some of them might still be this similar, but you know, uploading content on YouTube and live streaming can be different. You know, there's a couple different tips I could give you, so we're just going to get into that. So starting off with number 5, my number 5th like most important tip, do not worry about your view count or anything like that at the beginning we worried far far too much about getting as many views as possible without putting into effort into the content um well it's you need to find a balance because you, you obviously want to get views but that can't be your top priority you want to make sure the content's good because of the you focus solely on the views aspect and just doing like easy content to get as many views as possible then you know it's you're not gonna enjoy making content as much and your audience will not enjoy watching it as much so we've been trying to improve constantly over the last year and a half or so of AI because we want to make great content for you guys and I um, want it to, you know, be good, so if it's good, it'll get views, and that's kind of the whole point, you don't want to, you want to just focus on making your content good, that's, that's the tip I'm trying to get across. Now, number four, you want to promote your videos, so if you're going to try to be a YouTuber, you obviously need, you should you have other social media, big ones that would help you right now, Twitter, TikTok, as long as it doesn't get banned, which probably isn't going to, um... Even if you stream on Twitch, you can promote your videos that way. Uh, Instagram, just promoting your videos on all of these can lead to traction. Even if you're desperate, there's um, subreddits just for promoting YouTube content for smaller YouTubers. Um, so there's a lot of places to promote your content, help possibly drive people in, and start to grow your audience. So, yeah, promote your stuff. Alright, so number three, invest in your channel. You're going to have to put a bit of money into your channel if you really want to succeed. You're going to need a way to make thumbnails. My recommendation is, fo is Adobe's photography plan. It gives you, the main things is Photoshop and Lightroom, which is used to, you know, touch up images. And then Photoshop, you can create your thumbnails there. That's a great tool. For only, I believe it's 10 bucks a month or so. Maybe a bit more, but it's uh, your cheapest option if you want anything Adobe-wise. And the only thing you're really missing out on is After Effects. So it's a good option um, for your thumbnails. And then for video editing software uh, or things like, for example, what we have, we have the Adobe Photography Plan. We have a lifetime membership to Filmora. They eventually offered us that. We have a lifetime membership to TubeBuddy's Pro uh, membership or whatever. Um, they eventually offered us that. So those are the things we've put into the channel. We've also put a bit of different money here and there. We probably put a good bit into the channel. I mean, my entire setup was for the channel and streaming, so I've probably put about two thousand dollars into this. <laughs> so, the PC was a lot of that, and everything else on top of it. I'm adding up the months I've paid for um, Adobe already, which is a, since I think March. I've paid for it monthly. I've paid for a bunch of other stuff monthly. Um, I didn't, you know. I, where does this money come from, you ask? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I've just been saving a lot. You don't have to put $2,000 into it like I did. That's just including my PC, my two monitors, my ring light, my webcam, my mic, everything. Um, you don't have to put that much into it to start off with. Usually a lot of you people don't. They maybe have like a laptop or, I don't know, like a $500 PC, maybe a monitor, maybe a cheap webcam, maybe a... 50 to 80 dollar mic which isn't bad it's actually great I mean this mic can be 50 50 at times I have to be right up to it to be able to give like great audio sometimes and it kind of sucks but it works but yeah you'll definitely need to invest some sort of money into it even if it's just for an editing software maybe the Adobe photography plan and maybe just a cheaper mic, PC, and monitor, just the basic setup, and then work your way from there. Number two, and this one's kind of hard to word, I guess, and do early on, but it'll become easier as you grow and find people around your size, channel-wise, and subs and all that. Do collabs. Talk with people. 
For example, we've talked with the CrowdStrump devs. Harpo's directly talked to the CEO. Um, I've, you know, communicated with them. I've helped promote the site. Launched September 5th for beta users, by the way. Um, it'll still start rolling out to you guys over time. It's right September 5th. So, sign up. You'll be probably later. I'm going to be real if you sign up now, but, you know, it'll start rolling out to people then. We've talked with them. We've talked with other people through over like the last year and a half of AA, and we've been you know working with people and kind of helping promote each other and all that. So that's what you need to do: work with people. Obviously, as a streamer, it's a lot easier because you can just host each other, raid each other through streams. But with content, you can still promote each other, do collabs, makes your content better, maybe motivates you a bit more. So communicate with people, talk with people, help each other out. And finally, number one, my most important tip for anyone starting a YouTube channel or anything like that, or a smaller YouTuber like us, have fun. Don't treat it as a job, because it's not a job. You're not going to be making money for a while. you got to work your way there. Treat it as a hobby or a passion project. It's kind of both for myself. I guess it's more of a hobby for Harpo. Um, he's more focused on his streaming, which is understandable. That's where he's making his money. So I'll respect him on that. Yeah, just treat it as your hobby treat it as something you're you know you do for fun for a while because if you're not having fun the content's going to be garbage i'm sorry you can't really get through that if you're not having fun don't upload or anything like that like we try to keep a schedule but sometimes we just can't because we either don't have time or we just don't want to make a video that day so maybe it'll go up a bit later but we try we're trying to keep up a schedule now but anyways that's my five biggest tips for other starting youtubers or smaller youtubers Hopefully this helps you, hopefully this reaches you, be sure to share with other people who you think might be interested, be sure to like and subscribe, because not a lot of you are subscribed, you know, as you see, and yeah, I'm going to head out, catch you guys in the next one. Uh -huh.